Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you. Uh, my name is Rick Noriega, and I am the president and CEO of Avance Incorporated, uh, unlocking America's potential. On behalf of uh, Avance's national board of directors, our Avance team across the country, and the thousands of Avance parents and children we have had the privilege to serve, we welcome you here to the national office of Avance here in downtown San Antonio, Texas. This press conference, for those of you that are unaware, is being streamed across the country. To our Avance friends and family on the East Coast, we're starting to get some of your weather here in San Antonio today. And to our friends and families on the West Coast, uh, well, enjoy the nice weather that you're experiencing. Today uh, marks another historic day in Avance's history. For 40 years, Avance has administered its signature-based parent-child education program, a two-generation model that instructs that the parent is the first teacher and the home is the first classroom. Today, we are sharing the results of a longitudinal impact study entitled Avance, a 10-year look at impact, written by Dr. Felix Montes and the team of the nationally renowned Interdevelopmental Research Association, or IDRA, and we want to also uh, thank Roy Johnson, also with the IDRA team, for being here and joining us. Uh, we are also joined by some of the Avance graduates that are in the audience and research participants whom you will hear from in a moment, uh, one of our mothers and, and uh, her uh, young adult a teenage daughter who will be sharing some information with you, their story, and be available for questions uh, in a moment. But before I introduce Dr. Montes to explain this study, uh, let me give you the bottom line up front, as we like to say uh, in the military, and that is Avance Works. This study further amplifies that two generation models like Avance are the decisive point to breaking the cycles of poverty. It saves money and it ensures that our national and international competitiveness is still relevant and strong. We believe that early intervention is the best investment we can make in America's future by giving each child, no matter their circumstance, the start they deserve so that they are school ready, ready to learn with supportive parents who understand their developmental needs. Avance has been the boots on the ground in this social space for 40 years. Since our humble beginnings here with our San Antonio team at the Mirasol Housing Project in San Antonio that have done a phenomenal job, today we have chapters across Texas and partners administering our parent-child education program in seven states to reach 1,000 more families and children every year. When parents graduate from our nine-month curriculum, they are transformed. They become role models for their children, instilling in them the value of education and empowering them to reach their goals. Through years of anecdotal evidence, success stories we see every day that walk through our doors, we've heard from wonderful families at all of our sites. We know our program works, but we, like many other others around the country, were always asked, prove it. In parental engagement, early education, and intervention, the national dialogue is about proof and quality. We contracted nationally renowned researchers, IDRA, to conduct a study to see where our families are now. They checked in on hundreds of families seven to 10 years after they completed the program to assess if Avance led to real changes in the trajectory of their families. The results are astonishing. Look around this room and stand up if you're an Avance graduate. We'd like to honor you today because this report is in your honor. Thank you so much for joining us and being here with us. These mothers, Uh, these mothers have taken great strides within our ranks and what was discovered through the study is that we have teachers and nurses and college students and some who have come back to work with Avance 
to help mothers in similar situations. I also want to thank all of our staff that contributed to this study and, and supporting the efforts to get this work done. A phenomenal job. We have a Avance mother graduate who will act as a spokesperson today to tell her story, but they will be available as well to ask questions afterwards. So now it is my pleasure to introduce the author of this fine work, Dr. Felix, Felix Montes, author of Avance, A Ten-Year Look at Impact. Dr. Montes. I appreciate the nice introduction, Mr. Noriega. Thank you very much. Um, it is sometimes the unexpected findings that is the most interesting ones. Uh, we knew that uh, we wanted to compare the effect that Avance had on the mothers uh, that had participated in the program more than 10 years ago. And we found those effects. We found that, in fact, as Dr. Mr. Noriega said, uh, the effects are amazing. But what I was not anticipating really was the effect that Avance had on the children, on the children of those mothers who participated in the program. First of all, 93% of those children were school ready when they entered Avance. Now what does that mean? Why is that so important? Because there is a body of the literature that tell us that there is a significant number of children who enter a school not being ready. For example, um, Lisa Klein from the Harvard Family Research Center in 2004 uh, indicated the following. Depending on what's being assessed, between 25 and 60% of children are not ready to begin kindergarten. So between 25 and 60%. You can average that to about, what, 40% of children not being ready? That means that 60% of them are ready. Compare that to the 93% that we found for Avance. So that's amazing. That's incredible, really, because she's thinking about the whole country. She's not even thinking about poor children, you know? So that's amazing. I, every time that I see this, I get all emotional. Why is school readiness so important in addition to that? Because the future of these children really depend on them being ready to enter school. There is a strong relationship between school readiness and staying in school. And in fact, our study in advance shows that. 90% of these children stay in school 10 years later. And why is that important? Well. IDRA have been conducting um, attrition. In fact, Roy Johnson is here, and he has been the one heading that, um, that study. For 28 years, we have been conducting an attrition study in the whole state of Texas, and we found that only 67% of Hispanic children uh, stay in school to complete high school. Now compare that to 90% that we found for the advanced children. That's amazing, okay? Even for all children, 75% of them, according to our study, uh, stay to the end of the high school. Well, in, uh, in, 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 in the case of advanced children, it was 90%. So that's, that's to me, is outstanding. So I mentioned at the beginning that we found uh, very interesting effect, very strong effect of the program on the mothers. Uh, before I move on, let me, share you, let me share with you a little bit of what a typical advanced mother is, okay? Or a typical advanced uh, 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 participant <laughs> uh, who, uh, who participates in, uh, in the program. She is Hispanic. She is a mother, uh, a young mother, less than 30 years old, uh, who is Hispanic. 98% of them are Hispanic economically distressed, about 40%, thank you very much, about 40% earn um, less than $20,000 a year, and she has very low formal education. More than 60% of them uh, 
did not complete high school. So this is the background against which I want you to see these findings. And here are the findings. There was a 216% increase in the number of mothers with high education degrees. Now, this is comparing the situation at the beginning when they uh, went to Avance for help and 10 years later. During that time span, there was an increase in higher education degrees of 216%. Um, isn't that amazing? That is incredible, okay? Second, there was a 127% increase in the number of mothers who gained employment. And I was uh, mentioning this before in, in the interview. Uh, and I, 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 it, it reminded me that during these 10 years, the employment situation in the whole country wasn't pretty, right? while the, the actual unemployment was increasing for this mother, they were actually finding jobs. Why? Because of all of the support that they gained from Avance uh, more than 10 years ago. All these skills, the communication skills that they earned in Avance, um, the technical skill in doing things, the, the, the education that they gained and so forth, 127% increase in um, employment. And finally, there was a 148% increase in the number of Avanced family who owned their home. 143%, sorry, uh, increase on the number of families who owned their home. Again, uh, during a time when many families were losing home, these families were actually buying their own home, 143% of them. So that's, to me, that's amazing, that's incredible. So these are some of the findings that I want to uh, highlight in this uh, intervention. And uh, we have produced a 150-page report that will be available soon. Uh, before leaving, let me just mention uh, one last thought. One of the questions that we asked these mothers uh, in the interview that we conducted uh, to complete the study was, what was the best thing Avance did for you? What was the best thing Avance did for you? And here is some of the things that they say. Avance helped me become a better mother, become a role model for my children, and become an advocate for my children and other children in the school and in the community. So this mother went from being on the edge of society to become an active participant in society, in the school and in their community. And they mentioned that that was, that was due to avance, the avance help that they received that were able to improve their communication with both their children and their husband, which allowed them, in many cases, to save their families from likely dissolution. And that was, to me, that was, that's amazing. Because Avance provide not only that formal training about raising uh, children and so forth, but also advice about keeping the family together, counseling, and all of that. And that's amazing, that's incredible. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Montes. And now we will hear from uh, Ms. Elizabeth Reyes, uh, who is currently a coordinator of Early Head Start, uh, a coordinator of Early Head Start here in San Antonio. In addition, we're really pleased, and we had to wait just a little while before we got this press conference going because school had to let out uh, so that we could have her daughter, Emily Huerta, uh, be here with us as well, uh, we're so, who we're so proud of because she was just sharing with me her future goals and aspirations and the wonderful university that she's uh, planning on attending. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce uh, Ms. Elizabeth Reyes. Uh, good afternoon. Um, I am the Avancem parent um, and I would like to think that, I, I think that you know I am where I am because Avancem believed in me. And, and that's something that I've always um, said. Um, 
I was 18 when I had my daughter, uh, Emily. Um, at the time, I, I did not have the family support that I wanted. So my biggest concern was how am I supposed to be a mom and what am I supposed to do? I, I didn't know what I needed to do, but I knew that I, what I didn't want to happen. You know? um, so when I was living in the housing um, projects, Avance uh, went and knocked on my door and invited me to their nine month program. At first, I was reluctant, you know, um, I don't want to go, I don't know these people, you know, but Avance uh, was very persistent. Um, they came quite a few times um, <laughs> before I decided to just give it a shot. Um, and I think the first day that I walked in those doors, I thought to myself, wow, this is awesome. Um, there was other mothers just like me. Um, the, they were welcoming and they made us feel like, uh, the parents feel that, wow, we were important. Um, what Avance taught me was that I was my child's first teacher. Um, you know, it's not when they enter preschool or first grade or, you know, it, learning begins at home. The home is the first classroom and the parent is the first teacher. Um, so I, I did the nine month program. Uh, Ms. Gonzalez was my, Ms. Yesenia Gonzalez was my parent educator. Um, uh, after I finished that program, I kind of didn't want to leave Avance, you know, I kind of was like, can I do it again, or what's next, or, you know, and because it, it was great, you know, I made friends with other parents, um, I learned so much about child development, child health and development, and, and also about the community, you know, the third hour speakers that came in were beneficial to me and, and my household, I was not working, I had never worked before, um, I had barely made my way through high school and, and graduated, and I didn't think that now being a mom, I was gonna be able to do anything but stay home, as my mom did with, with myself and my siblings. Um, but after that, you know, Avanta talked to me about phase two and going into college, and um, you know, at first I said, well, I can't, I, I was, my bond with Emily was very strong, so my thing was, I come here because I know she's down the hall. You know, I know she's downstairs, but I don't think I can leave her in an actual center. Um, but after, you know, Avance is very persuasive, so after a while, <laughs> um, I did enroll at SAC. Um, and it took me a while, it took me about three years to obtain my associates. Along the way, uh, I had uh, two more children, um, and during that time, uh, Vance said, well, you know, we have phase two and we can provide you child care support. And so I was blessed enough for all three of my children to be in a child care, an Avanza child care setting. Um, they learned so much and when they went to school, they were so ready. You know, um, of course I was doing my part at home as well. Um, but after I got my degree, uh, my associate's degree, um, I thought to myself, wow, <laughs> now I can get a job, now I can work, um, and I went to Avance, and I said, you know what, I, I wanna work here, I wanna do what you guys did for me, I wanna be able to do for others. Um, so I started working at the Carmen Picortes Center in the infant room as an infant teacher. I loved it, um, I got to work with the teachers that had provided care to my own children, so it, it was awesome being on the other side of the spectrum, you know, um, and I was there for about a year, after that, I moved to the Early Head Start uh, home-based program, and I was a home educator. That was awesome, you know, working with families one-on-one, -on -one, giving them support, and doing, doing that. Um, made, being that person that Avance was to me, I was now being able to go out and give that back. Um, so I've been with Avance for about 10 years. Uh, February 2nd will be 10 years with Avance. Uh, my first real job, <laughs> and I'm still here, and along the way, I've learned so much. Um, right now, I, back in December, I crossed the stage with my bachelor's. Uh, so now, not only do I have my associates, but I obtained my bachelor's degree. Um, <laughs> degree. And, and I wanna say, you know, through, through the years, I was no longer a parent. I guess once you're an Avanza parent, you're always an Avanza parent. Um, so, you know, my, my colleagues, my, my coworkers and would tell me, you need to go back to school, you need to go back to school, when are you going back to school, what about your bachelors, what about your bachelors? And it was like, wow, <laughs> you know, um, I didn't get the push from my family, I am the first in my family to, to have a degree. Um, my parents did not graduate from high school. 
Uh, my mom never worked, you know, a day in her life. So for me to do this was totally, you know, I'm the oldest of my siblings. So not only did I, was I setting a standard for myself, I was also setting the standard for my siblings. Uh, so now I, I do have a younger brother that I, I raised from the time he was 12. Uh, he went and did uh, four years in the Navy, and now he's back and he's working, he's at Northwest Vista working on his uh, bachelor, business degree. So um, when he did, when I walked the stage that day, you know, he did, he was there and he told me that because of me, you know, it made him want to pursue his education. So I know that I'm impacting someone, you know, and now with Emily, who is the Avanza child, um, she's a junior um, at Lanier High School uh, down the street from here. Um, she has been my AB honor roll student, uh, my overachiever, my busy bee, and I can't be any prouder. You know, I am so proud of her. Um, we're looking forward to the spring because we're going to be visiting and touring college campuses. I want to say almost every single day we get um, invite in the mail and, and <laughs> you know, so we're keeping our options open um, as for her as well as for my two younger ones. Um, you know, I want them to be able to go farther than I have. Um, and I think that Avance instilled that value in me, you know. And um, I have no doubt she's going to go on and, and prosper. Um, but I think, you know, walking into that building that one day um, help me to be, be where I'm at right now and become who I am right now. Mm -hmm. so. Thank you. We've provided water and <laughs> Kleenex, <laughs> uh, which is part of our culture with Avance. And so now it's my honor to introduce uh, our uh, Avance daughter, Emily Huerta, you want to come up and say a few words, Emily? <laughs> come on. When you're the governor of Texas, you're going to have to do this. Huh? I don't really know what to say. <laughs> Um, yes, I remember singing the cleanup song. <laughs> um. Um. Yeah, I can't really talk. <laughs> I have so many plants. I can't talk. I'm sorry. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. I'll come with you. It's okay. It's okay. Um, she does have lots of plants. Um, she is currently a magnet student at Lanier High School, so, so she's taking business and banking classes. Uh, but for her first two years of high school, she was also a police explorer. Uh, so she did a little bit of the criminal justice as well. Um, she is on the varsity uh, volleyball team, so she's been doing that since freshman year. Um, she also plays for um, an outside league, Top Gun Volleyball, um, along with all of her volunteer services that she's done. Uh, during the summer, she was a, what are they called? Um, Teen, uh, youth, uh, youth leader? Junior volunteer. A junior volunteer for the inner city uh, development program, which is down the street, and they provide a recreation services during the summer. Uh, so she spent her summer helping there with the children. On various occasions, she has come and volunteered for our, uh, to help in the child care center here um, when we have our meetings or special events, Dia de la Familia, uh, special events like that. So sh right now, what we're working on is um, scholarship applications. Um, and building her educational resume so that we can send that out as well. Um, I think she's, what rank are you right now in class? 17. 17 out of? 415. 415. <laughs> and 
And what university do you want to go to? Um, the, Nor the University of Northern Iowa. Oh. So she wants to go far <laughs> away. <laughs> um, uh, but we, we are, we will be going and visiting a few universities uh, this spring um, so that she can get a feel of what a campus is like and, and things like that. Um, there is a program with uh, the University of Austin where we're, we're trying to get her in uh, so that she can go stay for a few days to see how she likes that. So it's exciting. I'm worried. I'm scared. <laughs> but more than anything, I'm proud, and I know that she's going to do well. Anything else? <laughs> well, you can see now why uh, it's because of uh, Elizabeth and Emily that um, we're blessed to be able to work for an avance that actually transforms lives and has such an impact uh, that's meaningful. It's the pebble in the pond in terms of not just family, but then community and family engagement. And so we're honored to be able to do the work we do. We get up every day so that you know, Emily, when you, if you, get, a, when you get your job that you're going to get and be super successful, if you get up every day and you love what you do, you never have to work another day in your life. And so um, we at uh, Avance, all of our team, we're extremely blessed to be able to uh, uh, be agents of a intervention that really makes a difference in communities and in our state and in our country. So with that, I'm going to uh, uh, pass it over to Dr. Montes or to Emily or to Elizabeth for any questions from the press or from anyone that might uh, have some uh, particular questions about the study. Again, on behalf of our board of directors and uh, all of our team, we'd like to again thank Idra for their commitment and this wonderful piece of work uh, Dr. Montes for, for what you've been able to capture and what oftentimes we've tried to communicate anecdotally, uh, but you've really been able to uh, quantify uh, that particular uh, impact with a, with a good uh, portion of our, of our families. And so thank you again. So I will stop there. Uh, if there are any questions, anybody have any questions? Um, I was um, 18 when I had Emily, and um, I was 18 when I had Emily, and she was three months when we uh, stepped into the Atlantic uh, Center, uh, the Mia Sol Center, um, back in 1996. So, nice. um, I was a little worried and scared. I, I was the only one with her all the time. So my part, the hardest part for me was separating and having to leave her, you know, with strangers at the time they were strangers, uh, so that I could go to the class. Um, but after you know, um, seeing what the program was and, and I was okay with it. Um, and it was just like her second home, you know. Um, when I was going to school for my associates, um, she was a little older, she was already an older toddler. So um, when we were at the Cortez site, um, it was awesome, you know, we passed by and my like, school, my school, you know, she would see the, the lady bringing the lunch in the classroom and she gets super excited. And, um, so at times she made one of you when I would go pick them up and they made one of you. And to me, that was like, that was their home too. You know, if, if um, they would not want to stay or if they would have separation anxiety, I think it would have been harder for me. Um, but because they were so welcome and enjoyed going, it made it a lot easier. And when did you get your bachelor's degree? Child studies. Thank you. From the University of Ecuador. Are there any other questions? Any questions at all? Well, again, we want to thank everyone for coming out on this, on this challenging day with the weather that's, that's blowing in. Uh, and uh, to thank our friends from the East Coast that sent us this weather. Uh, but uh, again, uh, we, uh, we here at uh, of Avance are extremely privileged and honored to be able to do this work and make this kind of contribution. 
as part of our uh, collective legacy. Uh, we want to, our mission as we celebrate uh, our next generation, the next 40 years as, as we're celebrating our 40 year anniversary, is to be able to make a, a broader impact uh, as you've witnessed today and to be able to serve more families and children. So thank you all again for coming out today and uh, stay tuned for, for further reports and further evidence that uh, we're making a difference and that Avance works. Thank you very much.